Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll guide you step by step on how to install Windows 11 on a DigitalOcean server. First, head over to the DigitalOcean website and log into your account. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken to the dashboard. Now, let's begin by creating a new droplet. Click on the Create button at the top right corner of the page, and from the drop down menu, select Droplets. In the new page that opens, you'll need to choose a region for your server. I'll select New York for this tutorial, but you can pick the one that's closest to you. Scroll down a bit, and here, make sure to select Ubuntu as the operating system. For the version, we'll keep it as is. Next, in the CPU options, you can select the type that suits your needs. I'll go with the premium Intel SSD option for better performance. Now, let's choose a monthly plan. It's important to pick a plan with enough storage for Windows 11 to run smoothly. I'll go with the $32 per month plan, which offers 120GB SSD storage. Moving on, you'll need to create a password for your droplet. Enter a strong password here. Scroll down to the hostname section, where you can give your droplet a name. I'll name mine Windows 11. Finally, click on Create Droplet. Wait for a few seconds while DigitalOcean sets up your server. Once your server is ready, click on its name to enter the control panel. On the left sidebar, select Recovery. Then, stop the server by clicking Power Off in the top right corner. Next, select Boot from Recovery ISO from the options. Now, power the server back on by clicking the Power On button. After it starts, click on Recovery Console to open a new command window. Wait for all the code to load, then type 6 into the command prompt and hit Enter. You'll now need to paste a script to upload Windows 11 to the server. I'll leave a link to the code file in the description below. Copy the first line of the script, paste it into the command prompt, and press enter to start the upload process. Now, give it some time, usually about an hour, for Windows 11 to download and install on the server. Once that's done, close the console window. Go back to the server settings and power it off again. This time, select boot from hard drive and power the server back on. Next, click on Access from the left sidebar and launch the Recovery Console again. You'll see the Windows login screen. Drag the screen down with your mouse, enter the PIN code provided in the file attached below the video, and press Enter.
Now, the next important step is to connect to the internet. Scroll down and right-click on the network icon in the bottom right corner, then select Open Network and Internet Settings. Click on Ethernet and choose Change Adapter Options. A new window will open. Here, right-click on Ethernet Instance 2 and select Properties. In the new window, select Internet Protocol version 4 and then choose Use the following IP address. Enter the IP addresses shown on the screen. In the DNS fields, enter 8888. And then enter 8844 and click OK. If the internet doesn't work right away, go back to the same settings and remove the IP configuration we just added. Now, apply the same steps to Ethernet Instance 0. Right-click, go to Properties, select Internet Protocol version 4, and enter the same IP addresses and DNS settings. This should get your internet connection up and running. Finally, make this window down and copy your server's IP address. On your computer, open Remote Desktop. Paste the IP address and click Connect. Enter the username and password, which are also provided in the attached file below the video. Check the box to remember your credentials and click Yes. Now, as you can see, Windows 11 is up and running on your DigitalOcean server. You're all set to start using it just like a regular Windows PC. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.